my channel. Today we are going to do a get ready with me while I get ready to go on my solo date tonight. It's not my first solo date because I've gone on a couple of them. Not too many, but I've gone on a few. Um, but tonight I wanted to record it and you know, chit chat, girl talk while I get ready. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup in the meantime and we're gonna talk. So first things first, I guess I'll talk about my makeup. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is what I'm using to base my face. And then I'm going over with the NARS um, Foundation in Deep 2. The Soft My Complexion Fa uh, Complete Foundation is what I'm, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what I'm putting on my face right now. So we'll talk while I do that. So um, first things first, why I want to go on a, why I started solo dating, why I want to go on a solo date. For me, is because I think with 2024, I'm going into this year, and I think this year I want to be extremely selfish with um, just what I do this year and how I move this year. I realize that with my job, because you guys know I still work in grocery retail, but with my job, I don't have the availability like I would like, I think, to be in a relationship um like i can make time but it gets very difficult i don't have the nine to five um evenings off um nine to five evenings off and then weekends off i don't have that event schedule so when you are talking to people you want to go on dates it makes it very very difficult to plan anything because if they have a nine to five they get off and they're like okay let's do something i'm like i can't i'm still at work or i'm just getting to work where i don't get up till 11 o'clock so our comp our schedules just never are in line or if they do have a job that's retail like mine then it, again it still makes it even difficult because yeah now they have the same set schedule the same schedule as me um they may go in early in the morning have an opening shift that day and I may have a closing shift that day with me being in management and retail I don't get to pick what my schedule is it kind of just is what it is it is what the needs of the business are so if I'm needed to close I'm stuck closing if I need to open I'm stuck opening if I know this is happening there may be a day when I open I go in at six o'clock in the morning and I don't get off till six o'clock at night or seven o'clock at night it's just never you never know and for me I currently live an hour away from my work so it just makes it very difficult to plan anything and to make that time out for a relationship um and on my at least in my current state like I think that it just makes it very difficult and for me I just feel like that's selfish of me to want to be in a relationship knowing I have that and knowing I can't give that person everything that I want to give that person so um I think for me, like I said, I want to wait till I'm in a relationship, or wait till I get a new job, or wait till I'm in a different job where I don't have the restrictions of my schedule and my availability, and I can give the person um, what I need to give them or I feel like it's fair. So that's um, why I ha I'm not dating, and I think because just because I have that expectation I guess or those restrictions on myself that I don't think it's fair for me to sit here and say okay just because you work during the week doesn't mean or you work during the weekend doesn't mean you can't go out so tell me I can't go out I can't go anywhere because I'm not dating someone because I don't work this regular schedule it's Thursday and I think I'm going on a restaurant date with myself so um that's honestly the one of the biggest reasons because I don't think I have the time. So, and I'm not going to sit here and I can always make time for me. I know what my schedule is. My my schedule is what it is. So if I say, okay, I'm off on a Thursday, if I'm off on a Tuesday, I can schedule that time out and say, I'm going here on that day. Um, so that's just me. As far as like other reasons why I want to solo date is because I want to um, I think I want to learn myself a little bit more before my next relationship um, 
in my experience, I've always learned something coming out of my relationships. I've learned what I like in a person, what I look for in a person that I want to date, the expectations I have. But I think I want to look for more expectations on what I, um, just different things. Because I know like I want dates. That's clear. Everyone wants dates. Everyone wants to feel special. Everyone wants those surprises. Everyone I took the love language quiz. And my three top, top three ones are um, quality time, physical touch, and gift giving. Those are my top three. So yes, I'm going to want those gifts randomly. I don't want to sit here and tell you what I want. I want randomness. I want quality time. And I can't. I feel like I can't give you that with my job situation. So again, I can't. I don't feel like I'm in a situation to date. So that learning something about myself and that I've learned in the time of being either in my past relationships and dealing with people, I just learned that I can't give what I want to give. So therefore, I'm not just not going to do it. I'm not going to be selfish. I'm not going to be, um, I guess, wrong or deny the other person something. Um, eight, 18 WT palette, matte essentials. Um, and for me, I think I am in a very selfish state. Again, me being selfish, 2024, my year of selfishness and focusing on me. We'll see what happens. Things may change, but as of now, January 2024, I'm very much going to be focused on myself. Um, I know that I want a certain level of things, and I feel like if I can't give someone what I would expect, like I said, I, ex I expect gifts. I want to be able to give my person gifts. If I don't feel like I'm in the situation to be able to do that, if I expect my person, the person who I date to have their own car, I need to have my own car. If I expect, if I want the person I want to date to have their own house, I need to have my own house. I can't expect something from someone else that I haven't done myself. Um, and that's a tough one. That's the newest one I think I've come into the realization is a lot of times people especially women is, is nowadays everywhere you hear women talk about oh well he needs to make six figures babes do you make six figures do you do you even make five honestly I hope you do us but do you make high fives put it that way are you still making do you want someone who makes six figures but are you making 50 the average salary for a person is what sixty three thousand dollars. So how do you in America sixty three thousand dollars? So how do you expect someone to make you exp you want to find that random person that's making six figures, but you're making forty five? You have to meet. I feel I personally feel like you have to be able to meet that person halfway. Maybe you have a car, you have your own house, but they are working there, building there, have the income. They're still living at home, but they're making the money because they're saving up to one day have that. Then we can talk. But if you're doing the bare minimum, living off of a friend, or you have four roommates and you carpool and share a car with four other people, with all your roommates, and on top of that, you're working a part-time job somewhere for no reason, then, that, then, then that's a problem. Then we can't talk. But as long as you are working on you and I'm working on me, I know what I want, I have an end goal, and you do too, then we can work somewhere. But a lot of times you find people who just... Like I said, being very selfish, I think, okay, I want to go into 24 with being selfish. If I want to do something, then I want to do something and I'm going to do it now. I don't want to have to wait for someone to say, oh, I'm free now. Oh, now my funds are looking right and now I can go. Or now I'm off and I can go. I don't want to do that. Um, if I want to go, I want to go when I want to go, when I, where I want to go, when I want to go. I don't want to have to wait for somebody else to um make sure and a lot of times especially nowadays we're living in 2024 where people have different type of dietary restrictions um i have three younger sisters but it comes down to a point it's still very hard for us to come up and figure out what we want to eat or where we want to eat um for me i'm not a huge fan of mexican food so i don't really want to go to a mexican restaurant to eat that's just not my taste that's not what I want to do. We can go just about anywhere else. I just don't want to do Mexican. So, but my sisters love it. Um, so I don't feel like that's fair. So again, and then one of my sisters is a vegan. 
we can't go to a lot we can't go to a restaurant if it doesn't have some type of vegan option on the menu for her at one point my sister was a pescatarian again she only eats fish so you have someone who doesn't eat meat at all someone who only eats fish and someone who doesn't and the rest of us don't eat pork so it's like we have to take all that into effect into an account then my sister she just turned 21 so it's like we have to go somewhere where it's close enough so you know just different situations so all that in play i just rather not and rather if i say i'm ready to go i'm ready to go i want to go to the restaurant we're going to the restaurant and then a big thing too i am very much a tourist when it comes to hanging out with other people very much a tourist and i know this if i say monday that i want to go come friday who knows if i'm still gonna want to go come friday i may be like yo um my bad called can't go and that's unfortunate but it's very true and i know this so i plan accordingly um if i decide i just don't want to have a day out and i'm not going when you solo date you can do that you can change your mind if you originally planned to go to a jamaican restaurant and you say i'm not feeling jamaican today i want italian you can just do that you don't have to change your mind and or you don't have to confirm with somebody else you just do what you want to do um i've learned this year is going to be my year i want to travel like i said i already have like three or four trips planned up but for me like if you have if you really if I wasn't there with you originally to bring these plans up, then nine times out of ten you don't even know about them. I'm perfectly good going by myself. Granted, not all my trips are going to be like extravagant and crazy trips. Some of them are kind of like two hours away, but it's still something I want to do when I want to do, and I don't have to answer to anybody. If you don't want to go, you don't want to go. That's fine. I didn't ask you. So again, I think. At least right now, the first half of the year, I think I want to be very selfish. And I think that's where I'm going. That's the direction I'm going in. And I'm not mad at it. Um, like I said, I wanted trips. I'm getting my trips. I wanted um, travel. I wanted food. I wanted to experience things. And with me doing them by myself, I'm experiencing them. My, I went on a, last time I went on a solo day, I went to the Tonight's Conversation um, podcast. They had a live one in DC and I went to that by myself. It was great. I t ended up meeting some people while I was out there and chatting it up with some strangers beside me. We, we, we had a, I had a great time. Um, and I wasn't late. I ran on my own time. If I was late, it's because I wanted to be late or I was fine with being late. It wasn't because I was waiting on Ashley and, and Hannah and, and whatever. I, if, I, if I was running late, I was running late because of me. Um, I didn't have to sit here and I wasn't frustrated. So. Where did my brush go? I think a big thing too with self solo dating, you become, I feel like you become in yourself more confident. You are more comfortable in your own skin. You are fine with being out by yourself and doing things alone. And that to me is, first of all, attractive. If I know that you don't need to, you don't need someone with you to feel comfortable. You don't need someone to tag along with you for you to do anything. You can do it by yourself. If you can go to a restaurant and sit down, if you can go to an event where everyone is at least with one other person and you're by yourself, I think that's amazing. You need to love you before you can love anybody else. There are so many people who will tell you this and tell you that and you are more gullible and naive to believe it when you are not used to doing things by yourself and when you think you need somebody, you accept less in life and like I said, you will put up with just about anything knowing that this person's own, like this person said they'll go out with me, so cool, I'll go out because I want to go to this restaurant and they're going to go with me, so yeah, even though I can't stand them, you'd rather spend time with someone you can't stand than just go by yourself. I don't understand that. And no, don't get me wrong, I used to be that. Yes, I'll go, I'll go 
out with you. Yes, I will be around you. Yes, I will do this. Knowing I don't really want to be around you. You just said yes. So, okay. Yes, we'll go together. So, um, I, like I said, we should all get together and just be comfortable with being by ourselves. New, but we can all do it. Um, and that's not just a female thing, this is a men thing too. And when you go by yourself, you have that since you are more comfortable, you have that certain type of energy with you when you go by yourself, you become more attractive to the opposite or to the same prospects. You become more interesting and um, easier to approach to prospects. Expectation, you're setting an expectation of, I can take myself here, so if you can only take yourself to Ruby Tuesday, take yourself to Ruby Tuesday. It's an expectation you have. If you can, ex if you take yourself to Ruby Chris, then you take yourself to Ruby Chris. But this is the expectation you have. If you can do it for you, imagine this is your set and expectation of what somebody else has to do. If you can say this person is taking you to Ruth Chris, or you can take yourself to Ruth Chris, then when you go on a date and you say you want to go to Ruth Chris, or they bring up Ruth Chris, cool, it's nothing new to you. You've done it before. If someone says, I can take you to, um, we can stop by what Wendy's and then go somewhere else, if you're okay with that, because that's what you do for you, then you've done what you've done what you need to do. You've done the assignment. If someone says, if whatever, if you can say, if you're not okay with someone taking you to Applebee's and you want to sit here and go to, um, I don't know, with like a chain brand of restaurant, so or Hell's Kitchen. Say for instance, you work at Hell's Kitchen. He said, okay, I'm like, I can only afford to take you to, or I only want to, I only want to take you to Cheesecake Factory. That's when you sit here and say, I took myself to Hell's Kitchen like last week. Clearly, you guys are not on the same page. You guys are not the same wavelength. Then he's not the one, or she's not the one. You can move on. And I didn't show you half of what I just used. This is the milk. And again, I got the small one, Kush Mascara. That's what I just used there. The blush I've had for a long time. Beauty Bakery Bite Size. It's orange. It's Hey Pumpkins, the color. That's the, it's the Hey Pumpkin. Um, I used this palette. I got it from Walmart. This palette the Black Radius True Complexion Contour Palette. I used the contour that you saw me use, and then in the sculpt, I don't really use the the high the the, not the highlight, but the um because that in there. I used you guys saw I used um what was it the makeup by Mario and the color 450. That's what I used for that. And then I went over it with the deep banana. I think I got this again from Walmart. I think I got everything from Walmart or I got everything from Sephora. That's where that came from. But I think I'm done with my makeup. I need to do my lips. And I think I want to go very simple and neutral. So I'm going to do like a brow, brown liner. Because, you know, everybody do it. And then I think I'm gonna go in with a brown lipstick. I have my Fenty. A Fenty, it's the color Bread Winner. And this, I think, is the face for tonight. I wanna see, because I think right now it's a, it's a fad on social media, and I'm not talking about like they're gonna do it, but I wanna see more women actually doing it and actually taking care of themselves and doing things for themselves um i know i talked a lot about being selfish but i think that's the era that i think i'm in for this year focusing on me and not worrying about what everyone thinks i think that's a good motto to have I'm gonna get dressed and I will catch you guys later.